Greetings and welcome back everyone to Project High Rise and to Hive Primus Tower. Now, in the last episode, we began expanding our apartments with the goal of getting to two-bedroom apartments. Now, I want to build the best kinds of two-bedroom apartments that I can, and that necessitates that we fill in some more luxury apartments in the meantime before we can actually go to those. We need more luxury apartments. Now, what I'm wondering is whether that is a need to have them filled. If it is, then there are certain things that we can do there. However, two things have been uh, put forward. One, that I could have some sort of plaza up here, um, or one down here. Now, I was already thinking about deleting part of this in order to put in a plaza. But, it's a very, very interesting question. Can I have a plaza in the sky? Let's just delete some of these and see what we can do. Can we have a plaza? Plazas, single hedge planter. I cannot do that. Build durable outdoor concrete paving tiles. No. Does not look like I can. Uh, I cannot do that. I cannot do... No. It doesn't look like I can do it in the sky. Very well. Oh, we'll fill that in in a moment. Now, this is the other option. Currently, I could just delete this. That is definitely something we could look at doing. But, let's see if... I delete some of this, whether I can put plaza buildings there. Let's get all of that done. There we go. So now this is an outdoor space, effectively. Uh, because plazas, can we place this now? I can. Alright. And I can not put these. I can put them there, but I can't put them... Hmm... Hedge, no, that doesn't go there. Well, what I can do is I could invest the enormous amount of money involved in deleting the entire elevator stack just to expand the, the room out a little bit. But let's see if this would be enough. Zoning changes, it works. There we go. Fantastic. We have expanded the zone. Quite a lot, I would say. Oops, there we go. I want to bring this up. Uh, can I not get the grid? Oh. Hmm. Um, basement depth. Category high rise. Public plaza area. 12 tiles. Flooring area. Maximum current. How does one increase that then? Building height. 80 floors. Building width. 57 of 70 tiles. So... Uh, presumably, now I can build more stuff over to the sides? No? Hmm. How do we trigger this? Add more floor pieces, stairs, elevators. Uh, let's have a look through here. Plazas. i push this back a little bit. Can I get that out though? Mm, it doesn't look like I can. Not easily, anyway. All right, I'm going to have to have a look through on that then. That's going to be something I'm going to have to puzzle over and try and work out. But for the time being, you know what? I actually kind of like those. Let's, uh, can I fit this in? No, I can't. That's a shame because that's glorious. I have a little fountain outside. There we go. Our own little fountain. Hooray! Also, ah, oh, um, plants. Yes, plants on either side of the fountain. It, it's not much, I grant you, but it is something. And I'm happy with something. But I wonder how we actually do... Has that expanded now? No, I don't think it has. Maybe it takes time. We'll have to see. Either way, it is time for me to uh, drop this down a little bit. And over here as well. There we go. We are going to be expanding down there a fair old way and you know what we don't need all of these elevators on this side it's enough that all of our service personnel go through this one little area also don't need these stairs someone was very right in pointing that out i completely forgot that once we had the elevators we no longer needed the stairs so that actually frees up 
a chunk more room on each floor. There we go. Eventually, I plan to do quite a few things, actually, in regards to the services. I may even do that this episode. Uh, specifically, what I'm thinking of doing is rather than having all of the services up there, because generally speaking, people don't need to walk to and from these, it makes more sense to put them in the furthest away they can be. Um, so I'm likely going to replace the entire bottom, or maybe even the bottom two floors, with services. Um, that is specifically the electricity, water, cable, telephone, and gas. Mm, probably not the trash. We will then have different floors for different services, so it might not be an entire floor for housekeeping, though given how much that is used, that might not actually be far from what we do. Um, but it'll certainly be house, uh, sorry, um, residential services and corporate services on individual floors. Um, also, the trash uh, collection services will be on their own floor, probably can't guarantee that one but right now they've had plenty of time to get all of this sorted out down there so let's go ahead and replace our beautiful beautiful um lobby damn it right we're gonna want two one two then one two three one two three there we go all is well in the world everything is back the way it should be i am reasonably happy uh, let's see. Do we have any, uh, other really, really nice art that we can pop in there? Let's have a look. Medium art. So we don't really necessarily, probably not. However, we do have a fountain that doesn't quite center. Oh, why? Fountain, why have you abandoned me? My moment of need. You scallywag. All right, fine. We'll do it the old-fashioned way by using two different pieces of small art with a plant in between there we go uh, we want want indoors plants or oh, one right there then we'll have two of these either side there we go that looks nice I think <clears throat> excuse me okay right uh, we've got places for other artworks around about and Obviously, we've got quite a lot down there. We still haven't let these these uh, apartments. That worries me a little bit. We're going to need to get on top of that fairly soon. There we go. Um, what do you mean there's no, no access? Really? Can my people not just go up, go across, and then up? Because if not, then I'm going to have to sink that down all the way, and that's going to just be annoying. I mean, truly, truly annoying. Dreadfully, painfully annoying. Hmm. Let's hope that isn't the case. Uh, how are my things like electricity and everything going? Uh, electricity is actually... You know, it's, it's kind of teetering. Teetering. Costs a lot, though, to do. I'm not necessarily super happy about that. We prefer renting on lower floors. Hmm. Oh, getting worn down. Do apologize. Let's get out there. Let's restore all of these, please. Chop, chop. Right, well, it looks like we're probably just waiting on more luxury apartments. So, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to fill out all of these floors with luxury apartments. So, let's go ahead and spend this. Um, rent a roundup. Go on, then. Right, before that gets too far ahead, let's go and drop in a bunch more of these. Let's take these at least as well you know what since I've spent it I may as well make use of it and fill these floors up with rental properties this is gonna crush our service our uh, residential services but it's gonna have to be the way right we're going to need let's see the services phone cable water and gas across all of them so draw these out now, it's an unfortunate truth that I can't draw from the back. I have to draw from the source. I can't lay the pipes down in preparation and then just hook them up to the source later on. Let's get this across. We've already got uh, waste collection on each floor. That's fine. 
let's draw these ones as well. Now, recently in the comments, I I realize that it's only, only one person has asked. Several people have asked me for longer episodes. One person has asked recently for much shorter episodes, like 15 minutes long. Um, but despite the fact that not many people have said that previously, it doesn't mean that not many people have thought it. So I would like to put, a, you know, present the the debate or present the topic for debate in the comments. Would people prefer shorter episodes of, of this and, and perhaps for future first tastes as well? Given the amount of interest there has been in Project High Rise already, it seems reasonable to assume that I'll go for an extended first taste. How extended? I don't know. Um, it may be so extended that it effectively becomes a full series or it may just be a couple of extra episodes. Um, but we'll just have to see about that one. But in terms of the length of the episodes, then I, I would like to welcome anyone who has previously just been going with the flow and, and you know, living what, with what I've, I've been giving them. Uh, thank you very, very much for being so, so accepting, by the way. But if you do have a preference, then I welcome you to discuss it in the comments. You know, if I'm not told about it, then I, I can't respond to it. I'm happy to try and adjust. I'm probably never going to go as short as 15 minutes. I've discussed this several times in uh, in regard to the length of my videos in the past, but personally, I prefer videos at least 20 minutes because I feel that if it's 15 minutes long, it's just not long enough in certain games to get into it, to, to actually, for there to have been any reasonable progress to have occurred. Um, but we're going to be setting all of these up as luxury apartments right now. These are all costing just 210, so I can easily afford it. I mean, I've got stupid money. I may go ahead and start adding some art to these floors as well in order to encourage these uh, luxury tenants to want to live in my luxury apartment area. Because it's not a luxury tower. I mean, it's pretty swanky, in my opinion, but it's not luxury. Uh, there we go. Uh, sure, you know what? We could go ahead and do a little bit more with art as well. Uh, we could put in some medium art here and there, hither and yon. Maybe something like that there. Um, we can have... Sure, well, uh, we can't actually afford that anymore, no. Um, we'll need some other art there. We'll go ahead and add in some indoor plants here and about. One there. Oh, this one there. I like to try and spruce them up a little bit so that they're not all the same plants everywhere. That grows a little bit tiresome, f well, f fairly quickly, honestly. We'll also have that one at the top. Right, now, that is going to have really pushed my utilities, I imagine. No? Really not? 78, 72, 62, 54. Oh, okay. I take it back. It has not pushed them nearly as much as I expected. Uh, our employees seem unhappy. Why? Why do you seem unhappy? I'm putting so much effort into this place. I've got lovely pieces of art and everything. I'm making 17 grand a day. That's pretty nice. That's very nice, actually. Let's just have a look. Profitability. Uh, oh, that's quite cool. Some of them have got quite a lot of... of buzz. These are very beautiful places. Um, aesthetics. Yeah, we need more art. We need a lot more art. Like, art on all of those floors individually, I think. I think that is the way for us to go. Uh, we want to pop in. Let's go ahead and grab some more art. Uh, we could have some small art here and there. Um, yeah, sure. Let's let's pop in. Now, I, I'd like sculptures on the floors with windows. Um, now we'll pop that one there. Grab you. Pop that one in there. Uh, no, let's go back to medium artworks for these ones. It cost me so much, but it's nice to just get little bits here and there to uh, spruce the place up a little bit. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll pop in clock next to that one. I'm not going to put a water cooler. That does, doesn't make sense. We'll have a clock next to this one too, a smaller one now. There we are. Uh, eventually, like, some of these will just have two paintings. Some of these will have two sculptures, but that one is going to have 
indoor plants. Actually, no, you know what? You can have a cabinet next to that one. There we go. Some of them will have cabinets, some of them will have furniture. It'll, it'll be lovely, I think. Right, have we gone to the point? Yes, finally. Not, not close enough for that one, but we can finally build the luxury two-bedroom apartment. The only thing we need is a dog walking surface because, of course, they're going to have faithful hounds. This is a luxury two-bedroom apartment. This is inhabited only only by the... Well, they're not quite aristocracy. It's a two-bedroom apartment, not like a mansion. But they're effectively the aristocracy of the um, one- and two-bedroom apartment people. Uh, okay, the, the whole aristocracy analogy is starting to fall apart. But nevertheless, they have loyal hounds, and that means they're pretty cool in my book. Uh, let's find them some dog-walking services, though. To be perfectly honest, if you're not walking your own dog... I don't know. So there's a moment for you to bond. Was having a dog and then not walking it yourself? What? So weird. Dog walking. Dog sitting services? What? Why Why do you want someone to sit on your dog? It seems cruel. I know. I know what they're trying to say. Don't worry. But we're going to need a new laundromat and uh, dog walking services fairly soon. Plenty of people coming in. This is good. Let's keep a keep a watch around for now. But soon we're gonna get all of these filled out. And maybe what, by the time we've got all of those done, we can have the uh, really super luxury large two bedroom apartments. That would be glorious in my opinion. And adding more and more art here is gonna make it just that little bit better for everyone moving in. Why is this going down? Housekeeping services need... Oh, right, yeah. We need more housekeeping and more laundromat. I'll get to it. I promise. It will be a thing that transpires. It's just got to take time. Because I'm broke. Because I spent all my money on your art. You are grateful sods. Ah, my lord. I make this beautiful place to live and you complain because you don't fold your own bloody sheets. My goodness. The world is going to rack and ruin. I expect a king to fold his own sh sheets, much less someone living in my bloody tower. Genuinely, I I, I think it says quite a lot about monarch if if they if they understand the you know the little things they've got to do for life, like folding their own bloody sheets. I like to believe, <laughs> though it's all, almost certainly not true, but I like to believe that the princes and princesses are taught to do their own chores. Like when they're kids, they're made to tidy their room because it just teaches them to keep a tidy room. Not because they can't, they, you know, they don't have servants that can do that, but they're taught, look, you know, just because someone else will clean her up doesn't mean they should clean her up. You clean up your bloody toys, your messy little git. I mean, your messy little, your majesty. All uh, right, let's find, we need another laundromat. That can go on, well, actually, that can now fit in here. Yeah, that'll go there. We need another housekeeping. That can go there. And finally, I need dog walking. Let's go and find you. Uh, well, that can no longer fit there, so I'm going to have to put it down here. What does a dog walking service require exactly? Dog walking service. It's phone, water, and electricity. Okay, well, that makes perfect sense. Um... Let's get water going across. Doop doop. We're gonna need water for the lawn. Uh, actually, the laundromat is gonna require water as well, so I'm gonna have to run that all the way over there. Uh, Electricity is already there naturally. Uh, we are also gonna require gas for the laundromat. Uh, it's on a floor that doesn't already have gas. Uh, that's a bit annoying. Uh, phone lines too. Whoop. And whoop. There we go. Sorted. Perfectly sorted. We're going to need so much. There, there's far too much being requested right now. I can't imagine that we've got enough. But we'll see. We'll, we'll watch for now. Uh, are these okay? Could not dispose of recycling yesterday. Ah, ha, ha. Knew that was coming. I knew it. I knew it. I, I, I saw it. My oracular vision. I am going to place... A bin there and a recycling collection are right there. This one has all of that, so they're good. All right. Double check, make sure everyone is reasonably happy. Yeah, they should be okay. I'm not sure if the dog 
Walker is gonna need it. I mean, might do. Probably not recycling though. If if they need anything, it'll be trash. I imagine. Right. Well, we can now start building these apartments. All right. Uh, we they've got pretty much everything. They just they need all of the services though. All of the services. So let's lay that down. The only one they won't have is phone. So, let's get that in there. Someone did point out how ridiculous it is that the maid service, the housekeeping, requires a phone line, but none of the homes so far had phone lines. How were they calling the maids? Were, were, they, were they expected, oh, uh, well, you're, you're just going to have to call him with your cell phone. Because he's got a phone. They've all got phones down there, but you have to use your own phone to get in touch because we're not going to give you a direct line. <laughs> Saw that. What do you think we are, made of money? I just found that hilarious myself. Right, there we go. It's going to be fairly expensive. 535 to build each one. Uh, actually, no, 540 there, but I'm getting a reasonable amount back as soon as they're inhabited. We're making a chunk of cash. There we go. Glorious. Ah, let's have a look in there. Oh, that's lovely. I mean, I'm not, I'm not as super keen on the, you know, flat pack IKEA furniture everywhere, but nothing against IKEA furniture. It's just like literally all the furniture in all of my apartments is just the same. It's the same wood finish. It's like, hmm, no individuality. It, 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 I don't know, it's starting to feel a little bit claustrophobic, I think. I, that's the wrong word, I know, but I, I get this sort of feeling. Whenever I'm in a place where everything looks the same, and there's lots of them, cities are really bad for this, because you, you walk down a, a, like a, an area in a city, like a, any kind of residential area in a city, and they, every single house looks like it's been cut and pasted, or rather copied and pasted, just dozens of dozens of times. I just start getting very, very twitchy. I really don't like it. I mean, I genuinely don't like it. Not not just like, ah, oh, I I turn my nose up at this terrible style. I mean, I actually start getting a bit, mm, feels, feels weird, feels wrong. Feels wrong. It's like if I haven't seen trees for long enough, I also get the same sort of feeling. It's like, nah, nah I'm not liking this. I can't hear the song of the earth anymore. <laughs> I'm starting to get twitchy. Uh, let's see. Uh, we're gonna need more home cleaners. Yep. All right. I knew it was gonna have to be. Uh, another laundromat as well. Well, okay, I suppose. I'll pop it down there, and then we'll pop down the housekeeping services across there. And I'm just gonna preempt this one. I'm gonna put another one there as well. Ah, damn it. Almost full. Is full. Almost full. Not even remotely full. That is full, though, so I'm going to need more trash, too. Wow, poop. All right. Let's get that down right now, then. Uh, recycling as well, but I'm also going to put trash collection on this floor. And since we're going through so much of it... Uh, I'll, no, we've just added a lot, so I'm going to put down two. I'm going to uh, try and think ahead with that one. All right, we need gas... For the laundromat. Then we need water. For the housekeeping. For both sides. And of course, phone. Because now they can actually get in touch. It's true. It's amazing. Whoever knew that we would have uh, the means for people to talk over great distances. So far, in fact, that they wouldn't even be able to see the other person. There we go. All right, well, our income is now 32 grand a day. Ye gads. That is amazing. That cracked up on me. Fine. We need more fountains. Fountains for everybody. You can have a fountain. Okay, maybe not for everyone, but you can also have a fountain. Uh, we will add in... You know what? We'll put in the art that was at the lobby as well. Uh, but that one could go right up the top there. Because, you know, it's prestigious. Uh, we want small art. We'll have two littler pictures. There we go. Ah, oh, no, I put the same one in two places. <gasps> no, sorry, you gotta go. I know that's, that was a lot of money to waste. Sorry, my bad. 
My bad. I, I am the one to blame for that one. Uh, well, of course I'm the one to blame. I'm the only one controlling the game. Uh, oh, we can now get these ones. Uh, they need dry cleaning, tailors, daycare, and personal training services. Well, I mean, they do pay an awful lot of money. Look at how much money we're making now. But before we do any of that, though, let's go and just check on our services. Laundromat's still a little bit overrun. All right, we'll put in another one. I'm not so sure about that, but uh, it is done now. There we go, and water. And yeah, I will be sorting all of this out eventually. I could do it now, and it would save me so much time and, and uh, money. But what it wouldn't do is say, save me energy and effort. I'd have to expend that effort right now in some sort of clustery way, whereas I'm really trying to focus on this at the moment, so I'm going to be splitting my attention. It's going to get confusing. I'm going to do something wrong because I'm not going to anticipate the need that I'm going to have once I've built all of the apartments, and then I'm going to have to redo it again. Oh, it's going to be terrible. Uh, what we want is to check on these 90% now. Okay. Time for me to sink one of these down there. There we go. And time for another, I would say. Um, let's put it down to 61. You know what? I'm going to put down three of these. Super money involved. But that has drastically improved this. So now I'm going to get rid of some of the smaller ones. Smaller ones first, because I'm fairly certain that... Yeah, okay. How much is this going to affect it? Bom 61%? That's actually fine. I'm actually reasonably happy with that. Water's doing... Eh, okay. Okay, cable TV. That needs a top-up now. So let's get some cable TV down here. So we'll pop... Ooh. That is super, super expensive, right? That's right. I'm going to need to wait. That's fine. I don't mind waiting. We can wait a little while, I'm sure. Uh, right. Well, in the meanwhile... What was it we needed? Dry cleaning, tailor, daycare, personal training. All right. Well, I can start with the whole floor things, I guess, by working up from the bottom. We can't go down any further, can we? No, alas not. Um... Well, we're not that far off getting a huge wad of cash, so I'm going to wait on that one first. Then I'm going to pop in one cable TV that will serve 150 people. Pop that there, connect it up. There we go. Right, so we should now have stupid amounts of cable TV, so we can go ahead and get rid of that one and this one. I'm both, I believe they're both the same one. They're up to 67%. That's fine. We can easily accommodate more of that as needed. Um, perhaps I should have built from the outside in rather than right next to it because now I've kind of hemmed in the electricity. But we should be okay with that, I would say. I'd like to believe, at the very least. Water is doing reasonably well. Phone is doing fine, so I'm not going to be moving that for the time being. Uh, we need more laundromats, though, so bad. Okay. Well, you know what? Okay, fine. Oh, dear. Someone just left. Get out there. There's 40 people who need, need something sorted. Ah, there we are. There's one one has left in there. Scallywaggery. My fault. This is an insurance agent, so we'll go ahead and grab you. Get you in there. Check out the others. Anyone else deeply, deeply dissatisfied? No, not not really. Uh, let's have a look here. What's wrong? These elevators are loud and too close. Dog walking services need... Well, we got dog walking services. They need cleaning. need more dog walking services. Right, okay. Well, personal training, uh, daycare, tailor, dry cleaning, housekeeping. Uh, dry cleaning, housekeeping, tailor services. Let's have a look at what they're going to require. In fact, actually, looking at the time, we're going to wrap the episode up there. In the next episode, I'm going to try, okay, we, this might be the last apartment block. So if, at least with the new services that I'm adding, I'm going to try and put them in down here before I start changing anything up. But wow, do we need a lot of, 
of housekeeping for the amount of tenants we have. Frankly, much more than I realized. But we'll have to see whether we can resolve this. And because we've already got optimized services, there's nothing going to be improved with that. And I may as well just spend our influence on this. Public art. Um, lobby the city art commission to place public art outside your building. They'll pay for the installation. You're the real prestige and the buzz. You're real in, sorry. There we go. I'm not sure where this public art is, but uh, sure. Whatever it is, we now have it, I think. Oh, wait, no. Can I... Do I have the public art? Is it something that I place now? Outdoor art? Ah, right, okay. Oh, that's quite cool. Unfortunately, I can't place it, but, you know, well, it's there. But that's going to be it from me for now. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and are looking for the continuation of Hive Primus. But until next time, do take care, everyone.